classical naming system. Four ionic compounds. Made with transition metal ions. Cations. Okay? And again, the reason we need these special naming systems is because transition metals have multiple positive states that they can be in, right? So we need to know which kind we're talking about, all right? So uh, there's going to be a few here that we'll do. We'll do iron. Remember, we have two options with iron. We'll do copper. Uh, it has two options. We'll do uh, lead, which has two possible options. All right, so now we need to do some Latin. Um, so how this system works, the classical naming system, what it does is it uses the Latin root Uh, of the cation and changes the ending to ick or us depending on the charge. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, let's use iron as an example. Does anyone know what the Latin root for iron is? Yeah, someone said it. It is ferrum. Okay, so ferrum is iron. That's where the symbol Fe comes from originally. So we have two possibilities with iron, right? We have this one, and we have this one. Okay, so what they do is they say the one with the lower charge has the name Ferris, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Just kidding. And the one with the higher charge has an ick ending. Okay, so something to note, the ion with higher charge is ick, and with lower charge is us. Okay, so now question time. Two possibilities. Look and see, what is the charge on iron here? What do you think it is? Two plus. Good, and we figured out before what is the charge of iron in this one. 3 plus, right? And if you can't remember why, O has a charge of 2 minus. We can see that from the periodic table. There's only one iron. It's about to have a 2 plus charge. Here there's three oxygens, so total negative 6 charges. There must be a total of positive 6 charges, and that's distributed across two irons, so each iron must have a 3 plus charge. Now, you know, and this is, this is where this is a little bit trickier than the stock system. The stock system will tell you what the charges is right in the name, the classical system won't. You have to know what these charges are. So this is the lower version. So this is going to be called ferrous oxide. And this is the higher version. So it's going to be called ferric oxide. Okay? So that's how that works. That's the classical system. This is the exact same thing as iron 2 oxide that we learned about before and that's another name for it and this is iron 3 oxide generally chemistry is moving towards using this system only it's a better system right it tells you more about the iron this you have to know what charges it has now if you're a 
full-time chemist, that's probably not hard. You probably just have these things memorized. But um, for the rest of us, this system's much more, uh, much easier to use. Okay, so let's try a couple of more. And it doesn't always have to be oxides. It's just oxides are very common. Uh, what is the Latin root of lead? Anybody know? What's the Latin root of lead? Did learn this last year? What's that? It's a funny name. It's Plumbum. It might actually be B-O-M-B. It doesn't really matter. No one ever says Plumbum anymore. Uh, and in, in Roman times, um, they had aqueducts lined with lead, right? So lead and plumbing and plumb bum all became synonymous with each other. Okay, so if you have lead pipes, the lead itself is called plumb bum. I guess the guys that work on the plumb bum become known as plumbers, right? So there's a tie-in. When you see PB, right, there's a tie-in to the word, the English word plumber there, and that's because in ancient times, the people who worked on the lead aqueducts um, got the name plumbers, and it's held up to this day. Where they got renamed that, or I'm not sure exactly the connection, but that's more or less how that works. So, in this case, lead must have a 2+, plus because there's a 1 oxygen, and in this case, it must have a 4+. plus. So we have here the us ion. So this guy right here must be called plumbus oxide. And this guy must be plumbic oxide. Also known as lead Two. Oh, stop. Lead two oxide and lead four oxide. Okay, and then copper is cuprum. So the C plus is cuprus, and the C two plus is cupric. And depending on what it's attached to, go. Or in the modern system, copper one and copper two. Okay?